Today's tutorial will be about brioche knitting. Brioche is an interesting technique that looks a lot like ribbing but produces a much loftier fabric. I'm going to show you the basics and then in this month's newsletter there is a free pattern for this cowl called the Brown County Brioche Cowl and the pattern will also go over the basics of increasing and decreasing in brioche knitting. With brioche knitting, there's always a setup row. I've cast on 11 stitches and I like to do brioche knitting with an odd number of stitches because then each edge looks the same. In the setup row, we're going to alternate between slipping a stitch and yarn over at the same time and knitting a stitch. So the first stitch we're going to slip as if to purl and yarn over. The second stitch we'll knit. Then we bring the yarn to the front, slip as if to purl and yarn over, and then knit. We continue this to the end of the row. So we're slipping purlwise and yarning over at the same time, then knitting the next stitch. Continue to the very last stitch is a slip one, yarn over. So we'll bring the yarn to the front here. Now the next row, we're going to do what is called a brioche knit, and you'll see it abbreviated as BRK. So in this, it's much like a knit two together. You knit the stitch that was slipped and the yarn over together. And then we're going to bring the yarn to the front, slip and yarn over. Now here's the next brioche stitch, and you can see the yarn over from the previous row and the knit, slip, and then we'll brioche knit, slip with the yarn over, and brioche knit, slip and brioche knit to the end of the row. Okay, so we've worked our first row of brioche, and technically in brioche, every row is made up of two passes. You go one direction, and you knit half the stitches and slip half the stitches, then you turn around and go the other direction, and you'll knit the stitches that were slipped in the previous row, and slip the ones that were knitted in the previous row. So this, the first row, the rows are normally marked with A and B, in brioche knitting. So the first row that we worked was row 1A and now we're going to go and work row 1B. So we're going to start with slip and yarn over and then brioche knit into the second stitch and the accompanying yarn over. Again slip and yarn over and then we're going to work into the next stitch which is the knit stitch and the accompanying yarn over. So we'll brioche knit into that and continue that way along the row to complete row 1B. Slip purlwise and yarn over and then brioche knit into the next stitch and then the last stitch is a slip one yarn over which is the same thing that happened on the very first stitch. So then we'll move on to row two. We'll need to work several rows before we can really see the pattern. So we're going to brioche knit into the first stitch, slip one yarn over to the second, brioche knit, slip one yarn over, brioche knit, slip one yarn over, so this will be row 2A, so the first pass, we get to the last stitch, we brioche knit together, and then we'll do row 2B. And you're starting to see the pattern here, but it will become much more prevalent as we move a little further along. Okay, we start off with slip one yarn over and brioche knit. And again, we're 
knitting into the stitches that were slipped in the previous row in the row 2a and slipping the stitches that were brioche knit in the previous row. Whatever stitch you started off with, we started off with a slip one yarn over and we'll end with a slip one yarn over. And you always have to, you know, just be careful on that first stitch because the yarn over is just there and there's nothing holding it there besides your finger. So brioche knit, slip one purlwise and yarn over, brioche knit into the yarn over and the stitch that's on the needle. It's really not a difficult thing to do once you get used to it. It is a little bit different than regular knitting, but you're only knitting half the, the stitches, so things tend to go pretty quickly. And here's the rib pattern starting to emerge, and I'll show that to you on the bigger piece. This is what it will look like on a larger swatch of fabric. Oh, a dog hair. Can't, uh, can't avoid those in my house, unfortunately. Now, I'll just show you the rest of the, the pattern here. And in the pattern that you'll get free this month, it will show you how to do the increases. So on here, we're increasing to the right, and then we're decreasing to the left. And then further up in the pattern, we'll increase to the left and decrease to the right. I'll put out another video on those shortly, but for today, we're just doing the basic brioche stitch, which gives you this nice lofty fabric. You can see it's a little bit thicker, and uh, I think it's something you really like. It makes it just a very cute cowl. Thanks so much. See you next time. Bye.